what I realized is if you really go back to first principles, there's only three inputs that a product leader or product manager has to making a decision. You can have data, you can have feedback from customers, you can have conversations with customers. And then the third thing, which is just as important is your own intuition as a product leader. And so the combination of analytics, customer feedback, and intuition are really the pillars of product decision-making. And the best product teams focus on striking a balance between those things. The other thing that is challenging is every single product team that I've worked with biases towards one mode of decision-making or another. At TripAdvisor, the PM's really biased towards analytical decision-making. At other companies, especially early stage, sometimes teams bias towards intuitive decision-making. Other times, especially for sales-driven teams, they bias towards feedback or customer-driven decision-making. And so the important thing is to be aware of the bias that you have and to be very thoughtful about striking a balance between those three modes of decision-making. Each is very powerful. Each mode is very powerful, but each also comes with a downside.